After watching last night's debate, if you still think the dollar is going to be a forever currency and the US empire is gonna last a thousand years, you're crazy. The legacy media and the Democrats have been hiding Joe Biden's mental deterioration for a while now, but they could hide it no longer during this debate. And it was pretty shocking to a lot of people, but most people that pay attention know that Joe Biden hasn't been all there for a while, but for the rest of America, they're getting caught up. This same legacy media is the one that they'll never talk about inflation, they'll never talk about money printing, they'll never talk about the root causes of why the economy the way it is, why the middle class is being eviscerated from inflation, from all of this money printing. This next election is going to be wild. It's gonna be one for the record books. In my opinion, neither party is representing the, you know, the majority of Americans. And all these politicians are just short-term thinkers trying to get reelected. And this is why the US isn't investing in long-term projects that's going to make the country a better place. China is doing the exact opposite. They're investing in infrastructure, ports, stuff that's gonna make them more competitive. The US hasn't done this in a long time. Right now is a perfect time to geo arbitrage, get a second citizenship, a second residency, and invest in Bitcoin, which was the first non-state government money ever in the world. And these are gonna be very powerful tools if things get crazy. And a lot of people believe we are entering a fourth turning time period, which is things are gonna be volatile, there's gonna be civil unrest, governments are gonna change, revolution. And Bitcoin, I think, is going to be a wealth preservation asset. It's not get rich quick, but if you have a lot of money, it's a good idea to keep some money in Bitcoin because you can transport it, get on a flight, and have millions of dollars anywhere in the world. Because when this economy comes down, and it's going to happen shockingly fast for a lot of people because most people have normalcy bias and the, and the news doesn't report anything, you're going to want to own Bitcoin because you're going to be able to hop on a plate and take your wealth with you. This election cycle is going to be just insane and you know I think people are waking up and they need to prepare for what's coming down the pipe.